Hey gang, today we're gonna to go over progressive lenses and discuss how they work. Teresa's here with me, even though she's off camera. I'm gonna be, hey T, I'm gonna be the test patient here and she's gonna discuss how progressive lenses work and where you should be looking through the glasses to see things far away, to see things up close, and to see things at the computer. So T, I'm gonna let you take it from here. Excellent. I'm going to have you put on these glasses. All right, so all of our new patients that are trying progressives for the first time, I walk them through step-by-step step how to use the lenses so they are best prepared to get the full usage of their lenses. So we start with distance vision. So I would have Dave face the street, which our main street, if you don't know our address, is 9553 Fields Ertl. Love the plug. Mm -hmm. So I'll have you look at Fields Ertl, mm -hmm. and distance is the easiest way to start because it's right at your line of sight, so it should be very easy to find. You just look straight ahead, so, it should be very natural. So Teresa, should I be looking through the bottom of my glasses, the middle, or the top when I want to see something far away? No, nope, just hold your face straight, not chin down, not chin up, just a natural posture, just like as if you were driving mm -hmm. or at the movie theater. Just okay. looking straight ahead, eyes forward. Okay. So then I would point out to the patients where to expect peripheral distortion. So I will have you still facing forward. Uh-huh. Cut your eyes to the left, then cut your eyes to the right. Right. And you'll probably notice that at some point when you cut your eyes far left or you cut your eyes far right, that your vision may get a little blurry. Uh huh. And that's where your eyes have traveled outside the channel of vision because a progressive has a channel of vision similar to an hourglass. So if I wanted to look at something far away, could I look at it through the side of my glasses like this, or should I be pointing my nose and kind of looking at something far away through the middle of my glasses? Use your nose as your pointer. Okay. Okay. So that would be the general direction that you're looking at. Mm -hmm. And I also point out to my patients that for some reason, they may be tempted to try to look left, far left, or far right. Right. But that's not how we, we naturally look. If you'd like to look all the way to your right towards Leah, your natural movement is to turn your head. Right. To look at where you're talking. It's not to look all the way out the side of, you know, your your eyes. So just that's the best way to think of it is to keep everything natural. The progressive should be as natural as possible to you. So next we come back over here to the table mm -hmm. and we would do computer, which is my favorite because it's where most people struggle. Mm -hmm. So if you're at work and your monitor is here at eye level, mm -hmm. sorry that's crooked, that is looking through your distance. Why? Because your distance is at your line of sight, remember, at the very top. So that's going to be blurry for you. Right. So what you should do is lower your monitor or raise your seat so that you are looking at a downward angle Mm -hmm. through the middle portion of your lens where the intermediate is, okay? So remember, up here, blurry. Down here, should be clear. For the computer. For the computer. So same as with your distance, when you are learning to use the lens, think of it like pointing with your nose. If you're learning to find the areas, pick one place to start. So pick one image, one paragraph, one sentence on your screen where you want to begin. And when that's clear, boom, you'll know you're in the zone. Okay. The more you do it, the easier it is to find. Okay. Because again, everything should be very natural. You shouldn't have to work very hard for it. Okay. Okay. So same as with your distance. If your eyes go so far right or so far left, it may get a little blurry. And that's because you've gone outside the channel of vision. And it's just like a mental reminder to just ever so slightly turn your head a little. So as you're reading on your monitor, your eyes go a little right, gets a little blurry, subtle turn. Again, your natural movement when you're reading. We usually read a little, you know, like your chin moves a little to the right, moves a little to the left, moves a little to the right, a little to the left. Yes, perfect. Cool. So one last tip with computer. Mm -hmm is to tip your monitor forward from the bottom. Oh, that's good. And that just kind of brings it up for you just a little bit more. 
Okay. Perfect. Okay, so I do want to share a don't. So if you can just give them your profile and show them Office Mac. So if you are at work like this, they call it Office Mac. It's very uncomfortable. <laughs> And that means that you either do not have a properly fitting progressive lens, or you may just need to make some adjustments to your monitor and your seat. Okay. Okay. Very good. So for your reading, I'll have you hold that. So reading, I tell people is, you know, it's very individual, however you want to say it. But for some people, they like to have their chin to their chest kind of have to play with the position a little bit for what's comfortable for you. Okay. Okay. Once it's comfortable, begin where your reading will start, just like when you're on the computer. When it's in that sweet spot, it's nice and clear. Right there. Pick up your reading. Uh-huh. And just as before with intermediate and distance, you'll be able to move just your eyes so far right. Uh-huh. You'll know when to kind of Turn your chin a little bit to the right. Uh huh. Okay. It helps you to understand the channel of vision and how large your reading area is. So if you're a person that does not like a lot of subtle movements and you want things as close to a single vision lens as possible, then you'll want to make sure that you're in a customized progressive lens with a very large viewing area, a very large distance area, and very little peripheral distortion. Very good. It's the most comfortable. But anyone can wear any progressive lens. You just need patience, okay, to learn how the lens works. Perfect. And remember, we're here to help. So if you're struggling, please do not hesitate to come in and ask any of us for help with your glasses. Can you put your glasses on the table? Uh-huh. So if you're like this for the day with your glasses, on the table and not on your face because they're not working well for you, then you should stop in so that we can help you wear them.